One of the biggest tragedies of doing IVF treatment is that because IVF in India is completely unregulated, there are now so many clinics which have mushroomed and lots of these are bad quality IVF clinics. And if you are unfortunate and you end up in a bad IVF clinic, not only will you have wasted a lot of money, you will have created a lot of heartburn for yourself and much worse, you will have reduced your chance of getting pregnant. Whereas if you had gone to a good IVF clinic, your chances would have been much better. Now, there are some things we can't control. You can't control your egg quality, you can't control your sperm quality, but you can control which IVF clinic you go to, and that's why it's so important that patients need to be proactive, need to ask the right questions, so they can differentiate between a good clinic and a bad clinic. Yes, all clinics look exactly the same if you just look at their website, but good clinics are those which routinely share information proactively and transparently with their patients, and routinely give them embryo photos. Bad clinics are the ones which hide this information. And clinics which do not provide embryo photos in my book are bad clinics because they're hiding stuff. Why aren't they willing to share the information with patients? Taking photos is routine. Every good clinic anywhere in the world does this routinely all the time. And that's why it's so important that patients be well informed and learn to ask the right questions so they can identify the good clinics and protect themselves from the bad clinics.